We're talking about God, grace, and goal setting. And we're looking at the Gita, the Bhagavad Gita, that great text of wisdom as our guide, helping us to understand how to realize, embody, and express the sacred in our life situation. And today we're talking about discipline, yoda, and grace. It's from the Gita. The Gita was for uh, seeing yoda or Yoda was looking back at the Gita, who knows? In the 10th chapter, 7th verse, the wisdom heart says, who knows my supreme glory? In other words, any soul that awakens to that supreme radiance is balanced most certainly. As long as the energies of our being are angulated or out of balance, we are more aware of things and more aware of thoughts and emotions than we are of the current of bliss, love, and wisdom, which is the glory of existence. It's not that the glory of existence isn't present at every moment. It is. It's here now in the very room you're in. It's like the radio waves that are streaming through this room. Unless I tune my instrument to pick up the classical music station, I'm just going to get static. Unless I tune my instrument to to pick up the classic rock station, I'm just going to get static. When we are aware of the static of existence, it's a mirror. It's life's way of saying, tune your instrument. Come into the balance channel where the current of wisdom, love, and bliss, the creativity is always presently flowing and it will reveal what needs to happen next on your awakening journey. Who knows my supreme glory is balanced, most certainly. She knows the force that works therein because of total discipline. The force is with you when you return to the force. The force is with you when you are with the force. And that is the true discipline. The true discipline is not some kind of teeth grinding, muscle straining action to achieve my goal. The true deep discipline is to align with the force that is working within. Remembering Luke, feel the force. Obi-Wan is saying, feel the force. That is our instruction. Feel that force. The force is the current of bliss, the current of inspiration. And as we move towards that current, we move into what the yogi calls the samadhi state. The samadhi state is that realization of, our, of unity with all of life. We come out of the samadhi state as a, with the remembrance, with the radiance, ah, with the infused awareness that that current is flowing through us, in us, and as you. You have a unique expression of that current that is yours. You are an agent of awakening. And the first act is to align with that current, to know the force that works therein because of total discipline. Total discipline is becoming undefended and open to receiving the grace that wishes to feed your life and to awaken through you and as you.